and welcome back to another Microsoft Flight Simulator tutorial. My name is Legion and today I'll be taking you through how to get that metallic look on the A320neo. As you can see here this is my Jetstar skin alongside JNK's which he's still running the matte look where I've converted mine over to the metallic which we'll be doing with his today. Now you can see here that it does replicate very much like the real world look for the Jetstar. However of course the other paint job with the matte is a little bit on the dull side. So we'll be fixing that up today and I'll show you how to do it. So let's get into Photoshop and get started. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop. Now within Photoshop I've opened up my fuselage comp file which if you don't already know how to get your skin files you need to go into the default A320neo directory and get the files that are required. So today we're working with a fuselage comp file which should be the only one you need and of course you need to make sure that you get the JSON file. Now if you have added these and they're not just in whatever pack you're running currently as a default, you will need to add each of these files to your layout and aircraft configuration. So the layout would be where you reference it. So you can actually see I've already done mine here. I will include the template for the text that you need to have in here um, into my layout.json. So you can see here it says texture.jeststar2 a320 airframe wings ALDB and then I've got fuselage comp and so on. So the fuselage comp is the one that we're using today so that's in there with the DDS and the JSON file. So you need from the bottom bracket here with the, the uh, comma up to wherever you need for whatever text you're doing um, whatever textures you're doing today. So I've already done mine in there and then in the aircraft config if you've seen this before you'll notice here I've got flight sim number 11 because that's the aircraft number we're up to. You can see that I have it underneath at the moment because this is just a copy and paste of that at the time being. But if let's say this was 11 you would change this to 12 and so on. Okay so what we'd be doing here today we're not working on the model I will do another video on what that means and how we go about it. We're going to select here is use the selectable to 1 that will mean it will show up in your hangar in case it's not. Air traffic, you should have this one disabled as it will load a full-blown aircraft into there, the full model, including the cockpit and everything else, which will eventually work out to just be an absolute pain for you because it not only will it just push your GPU beyond its limits, it will probably significantly uh, decrease your game performance. Now, I've already gone through here and put in some uh, references here. Obviously, this is Tiger Air. This will be for my latest Tiger skin, which will actually be released in a pack later today. Now, with this being the way it is, of course, in your case, you would update the texture file or the texture equals bit here to top. Like, for example, mine is Tiger. That is currently the texture folder it's within. So, for example, we're working with Jetstar 2 today, which is JNK's file. So if I type in here Jetstar 2, all caps like it is in the folder here, as you can see up here it's all capitals. So you want to put in whatever's after the first full stop. So we go to Jetstar 2 like so and save that in there. Now you'd also go through here and put in your ICAO airline, which basically this tells the game that if that airline is, well in this case ANZ is Air New Zealand, if it was that, display this type of skin. If it was Jetstar, you'd have ICAO as JST, for example, for Jetstar. So that would be in there. I'm not saving this one as I've already got it in my file, but that would be how you do it. So once we're over here in the comp file for the fuselage, you'll see you've got a bunch of random colors. Now this doesn't really mean much to most people, but this is actually the levels that we need to change. So if we go into layer, you can see here, that it's just the basic file. This is the default one, so nothing has been changed in this yet, and we'll go through how we do that. Okay, so what we want to do first is go over to channels. If you don't have channels, simply go up to window and down to channels and enable this. Now it may appear in a standalone box like so. All you need to do is click on the tab here and drag it into the area next to layers. Now we're going to go ahead here and hide the red and green layers for now, because we actually need to alter this. Now as you can see here this looks very confusing in terms of what colors mean what but it's rather simple once I explain it to you. So basically the, the black areas are non-reflective 
meaning that you won't get any sort of reflection in terms of uh, chrome or anything off this as it stands. Whereas the areas that are white, it sees as these areas need that effect applied. So in this case, we're doing the whole fuselage, which is what we need at the moment. So we're going to go up here, select a solid white color to match this and just go over to our paintbrush. Now we can make sure that you have only this layer selected, nothing else. So make sure this one's just that lighter gray color and we can just go ahead and paint over that like so. Now you'll notice here the blue layer is now completely white in the little preview window, which is perfect. That's what we want. Okay, so what we need to do next is go back over to layers and you'll see here it says MIP is zero and it's all white for us still. So what I'm going to do here is I've already got the final file for the Jetstar. So you would get your ALBD file for your fuselage in this case because we're doing the, the lighting for that. And you just want to drag that over the top like so. Now you can see this is pretty confusing at the moment. It's a lot of greys and dark greys. That's simply because the channels haven't been re-enabled. So all you do, go over to channels, click on the RGB, that puts the colour back into your image. So after you do that, go back over to layers. You want to make sure that your A320 fuselage folder or file is selected. And we're going to go through here and select the areas that we don't want coloured or don't want that effect applied to. So if we go up to our magic wand tool here, I've got my tolerance set as five as I found that that gets the lowest amount of like the white outline around the final section there. And you want to turn this box off here that says contiguous, which basically means that any color on this file that matches whatever I've just clicked, it will highlight. So if we go here and click the orange, you'll see every bit of orange in the file has been highlighted. Now you will notice that it has done smaller areas around here. That's only because there will be a slight black area within here that it's picking up. Okay, so we need to actually make sure that all of this area is selected. So if we do shift on our keyboard and click on that black area, you'll notice it's actually selected all the black areas within this file, including here. It's done all the inside areas as it should. Now another thing here is obviously we have the orange, make sure you hold shift again, click that just to make sure that you get the whole area. If I scroll back out now to scroll, all I'm doing is holding down the alt key and zooming in and out with the scroll wheel. And you can see here it's got little specks that it's missed. So you can just hold shift again, click those areas. If it's a larger area and you don't sort of want to mess around, you can go back up to where your magic wand tool is and go to quick wand selection. The same thing applies. Now here we actually need this whole back area not to be that reflective color as part of the Jetstar logo is currently selected. So if we would have color it in as it is now, the jet part here and the star would actually become reflective, whereas all this area won't. So we want to change that. So if I hold shift again and we just go over that area, it will actually stop the highlighting of the inner side of this. And you can now see that it's solid. So we just want to go through and do that for each area that we don't want colored in, like you can see here. Alrighty. So that's got that for us. We just want to make sure that there's no areas where we don't want colored highlighted, which looks to be pretty good to me at the moment. And then all we want to do is click on the eye to hide the layer. Now you see this will all stay selected. This is what we want. So now if we go over to channels, we want to hide that red and green layer again, leaving us with this one here. Now in this case, we are filling this with a black, which means we don't want those areas colored by the metallic look. So all we do is go up to here, select our black color, which is just a straight black, go to your paintbrush and whoops, make sure that on your layer, you're selected as MIP zero. Go back to here. We want to turn the red and green off. Make sure you click on the blue so it's only this in the light gray. If they're all selected, you'll end up painting on all layers and it will not work at all. Okay, so once we do this, we just want to color those areas in black like so. Okay, so we've got that. Now we want to go up to our green layer. Now this will be the essentially how strong that reflection is. So if you wanted a complete chrome, you could set this as like a, a, a wider color or black, should I say. Um, in this case, I need actually in here. So go into your color selector. Now this here where you've got the capital and lowercase b side by side, you want to make sure you click on the capital B. Now for me today, 
the reflection color that I found for what I'm trying to achieve is actually 75%, which you'll see is sort of a color between a, a very light white and a gray. So if we go OK there, and what we want to do now is because we've already got our black layer, we want to press Control D, which will deselect that whole area. Okay, so we've got our paintbrush, we just want to fill that in with the gray now. So you can see here we've got the black outlines on our blue layer, green layer is completely gray, and then all the rest we leave untouched. So you can then just go ahead and select RGB at the top, which will make it this yellowy pink color. Okay, so now we can go ahead and save this by Control Shift S. Now I'm going to quickly save a PSD copy just in case we need to open this back up. Okay, so I've done that and now what I want to do is save it as a DDS. Now you want to make sure you don't save it as ALD, ALBD. We want to save this one as the comp for the fuselage. So if I click on that one today, hit save, it'll ask us if we want to replace it because it's already there. We do this and then click save. Now if I go over to the sim here, okay, so we've got this as it is now. But if I actually reload this, it's probably going to put us on the runway. Let me just quickly reload my game. Okay, so this has already put me into parking. Now I'm just going to quickly jump into slew mode and we're going to locate one of the other Jetstar Airlines. Here they are. So, you can see here already, just from sitting next to it, it no longer has the plain sort of grey look to it. It's a bit more shiny. And then you can see definitely with the tail, because the tail is in a different file, that this is a darker color because this has that effect still applied to it. So we want to get rid of that and brighten that up of course. And then of course we have this bit here. Now this needs to be a lighter white in the ALDB file. So if I go back to Photoshop now, choose a large file, this is mine for my version. So we're not using this one today, we need to get JNKs up. So if I go into his, and we just want to open up the fuselage.albd file again. So you can see here, his has a lot of darker greys and so on. What we just want to do here is use our magic wand again to select those areas like so. Now that's going to go ahead and select practically everything that we need. In your case, you might need to go through and do some finer selections. For today, I'm not going to bother. And I'm going to select the, the grey here as well. Because we're actually going to make all of this white. Okay. So make sure we're on a layers channel here. We just go ahead and click new layer down here, which is a little plus in the box. Do that. And then we can go here and select our white. Now we are going for a pale white because that is how the reflection will work. Doesn't matter on the tolerance and whatnot because that's part of the magic wand tool. Go to brush. Now I've got my brush set to 5000, so it'll basically do all of this in one hit. You can also use your fill bucket if you like but I'm just going to quickly do this like so. Now you can see straight away that that has picked all of that up as it's meant to and it's just going to fill that all in. Now as you can see here there are a couple of finer areas which you might want to go through and fix up. We're not going to worry about that. So if I actually save that as it is now and we go to DDS and we want to go into Jetstar 2 save that fuselage ALBD it's going to ask us if we want to replace it again. Go yes, and we hit save. Now if I go back into my sim, and we'll do a quick reload again. It's going to park right next to it for now. If you have a look here, if I look at this Jetstar one, you can now see that we have achieved the metallic look that we were going for. Now of course you would want to go through and alter the tail file as well. I'm not going to do that in today's video. And of course the engines are like a different sort of color. So all you can do to that, if you're not doing your engines, you can just leave it as the default file, which would mean that where I have in my configuration in the JSON, uh, let me go back to that. So in here, you would just want to find where it says here, engines, and you remove from this little bracket down to the bottom here, like so. So I'm not going to do that in today's video, but you would just remove this section here that says texture dot whatever your aircraft is, a320neo airframe engines comp and the comp uh, png.dds json delete both of them make sure that the next line has the little open bracket if yours is at the end uh, then it'll probably just be a closed bracket and then you can go ahead and save it now this has obviously recreated that there so i'm just going to quickly jump into the developer camera okay 
So you can see here that we have slightly different shades of the silver, which that's simply because of the file that we've got provided with. Now you can see here that the wings are still indeed like a matte black. That is because the wings file also needs to have the same method applied to it and you just keep going at it until you get the shade that you're after. But as you can see from there, we've achieved the silver look that we were going for. Okay, so in regards to the metallic look, I will just say a couple of things on that. Now with the blue layer, once you select your black or white areas, depending on where you want it to actually reflect, you will no longer need to edit the blue layer. However, with the green layer, it works in a way whereas uh, your sort of lighter colors will reflect less whereas your darker colors will make it more of that mirror like um, mirror like reflection so if you want just good, sort of fiddle with that until you get the right thing it does take a bit of back and forth work however uh, once you get it of course as you can see here it uh, becomes quite a quite a nice look but uh, that concludes today's video so if you liked it please remember to hit the thumbs up, hit the bell and subscribe, and leave a comment if you have any questions. So, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.